Next, I'm honored to introduce Representative Coleman Radewagen of the American Samoa. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Many decades ago, a missionary named John Williams made the long and difficult journey in the 1800s to bring Christianity to the people of the Pacific Islands, including American Samoa. He and the others in his footsteps in those early years probably surpassed their fondest hopes. Today, faith and church provide a strong foundation to a very large percentage of our population. I think he and Billy Graham would have understood each other very well, though their ministries are separated by more than a century. Billy Graham's influence went around the world rapidly and powerfully, and seemed divinely timed to coincide with the rise of the communications and travel of the 20th century. As he lies in honor this week at the U.S. Capitol, it is a new opportunity for a younger generation to learn more of his exceptional life and hear his message once more, that God loves each of us, and when times seem troubled around us, there's someone greater to depend on. As scripture says, how shall they hear without a preacher? Billy Graham answered that call. He described himself simply, a preacher of the gospel of Jesus Christ, that life's purpose defined him and what a life it was. Thank you, Billy Graham. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I yield back.